Emily, here to talk about Legend. Um, you played the character of Francis. I was wondering, um, how did you go about getting into the role? Um, I, there's not really that much information out there about Francis. Definitely nowhere near as much as there is about the Cray twins themselves. So that was kind of nice for me. I sort of felt like there wasn't quite as much pressure on me to get it right. Although obviously she's, you know, she was a real person and that's kind of, that can be quite delicate. But I, um, Brian actually went to an auction before we started making the film and he got me a couple of letters that Francis had sent to Reggie um, when they were together. So that was something that I always went back to. You know, I had sort of this tangible thing that was her voice. So that was the center of it all for me, really. Um, otherwise, I mean, a lot of the preparation was was to do with the accent. Um, that was a little bit tricky for me to get into, so I did a lot of work on that. Um, and then otherwise it's, I'm so, my, my process is not, it's a tricky question for me because really I just kind of go in and I, and I feel it and it just happens, which sounds like a load of crap, but that's kind of just, that's sort of the way that I do it. Was there an extra challenge with this film, obviously with Tom Hardy playing two characters that you were performing opposite someone doing two very different things? Um, how, how did you find that experience? It, it wasn't really a challenge for me, to be honest, because like you said, he was, he was doing two completely different things. I mean, the characters were so, when he was Ron, he was Ron, and when he was Reggie, he was Reggie. It, it wasn't, it wasn't very difficult for me. I mean, I guess it was kind of strange to film everything twice and to, you know, um, he had, he has a stunt double called Jacob, who was, I mean, a, a lot more than a stunt double really. And Jacob was playing whatever character Tom wasn't playing at the time. So there was always two of them there and it was kind of, I just got used to it very quickly. It wasn't really, it wasn't as much of a challenge for me as I'm sure it was for Tom. It looks and feels very authentic. So did you spend much time in the East End and a lot of the locations still actually there? Yeah, there were, I mean, a lot of, obviously East London has changed a lot since then, but we did, we did shoot at a lot of locations that, you know, where they actually were at the time. Um, and yeah, I lived in Shoreditch while we were making the film. So I got to kind of be in the East End and kind of feel the very specific energy of that place, which was really, really helpful and lovely. There are times in the film where Frances kind of takes control and it's done quite subtly though. Um, did you end up feeling sorry for her or did you feel that she was an empowered woman at that time? Uh, I don't know, I didn't feel sorry for her. I mean, obviously things kind of go horribly wrong and it's kind of tragic what happens to her in the end, but um, I never saw her as as the victim, really, I didn't see her as this kind of tragic, you know, poor Frances. I thought she really kind of stood up for herself and I think she was quite ballsy. I think she was a very interesting, cool woman, which was really exciting for me. I mean, if she was just sort of this wet, sad kind of, you know, housewife character, I don't think I really would have been interested in playing her. On the flip side of that, can you see what the attraction to the craze would have been for, for anyone, I guess? Yeah, I mean, I think for her, you know, obviously she was a real human being and we can never know what her exact motives were. But the way I saw it was that, you know, she she didn't want the life that was kind of prescribed for her. She wanted something different. She wanted something exciting outside of just, you know, having kids and being a wife. And I think she saw that in them and she saw something kind of magical in them and I totally understand the attraction and then unfortunately it all kind of fell apart but it definitely makes sense to me and you know Reggie at least in the film is incredibly charming you know and it, it yeah I, I totally understand what what attracted her to them. Okay and finally do, do you think the way that Tom plays it, obviously with someone playing both characters do you think that that is probably the best way of doing such a film or can you see how else it could have been done? Um, I can definitely see how, I, I don't know if there's many people that would have been able to do it. I think it worked out really well for us, mostly because Tom is just really, really talented. So yeah, I think it, I can't imagine any other actor playing one of them. I think it, it, it made sense to me that, that he was playing both of them. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. And as someone from the East End, you did nail the accent. So thank it's, you very it's much. Spot on. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!